You looking for comic book covers? Well, you come to the right place. Hey, comic book fans! Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you 2019's Top 10 Comic Book Covers. This is week 34, and this, fans, is the video series where each and every week, you, the fans, get to vote on your favorite comic book covers based off of my top 10 comic book covers. But wait, there's more, fans. You also get to vote on which is your favorite cover, and by the time we get to the end of the year, we tally this whole bad boy up, and we find out which comic book gets comic book cover of the year so welcome if you are a new viewer and welcome back if you're a long time viewer so before we jump into week 34's books we need to find out who won a group for and the book that actually wound up getting a nomination for comic book cover of the year all right so the book that won a group four was well before I get into it, it was a tie. It was a tie between Immortal Hulk issue 22, the variant cover, and Batgirl Deceased issue 3, that variant cover. Yeah, guess who had to make the choice on this one, guys? Yours truly, that's right. So the book I picked, and it was a gut feeling, and I, and I thought it looked cool, and it was the most, I think, detailed one it's tough i know how you guys feel when you vote for these covers but i went with batgirl the deceased issue three variant cover i really like that cover i love the detail and the color tones that went into that book um i just thought it just kind of stood out amongst the rest of those books and uh it just edged out the immortal hulk just by a little bit so congratulations deceased Issue three, you move on to the final round. All right, so now let's jump into week 34's books now, shall we? All right, so officially at number 10, this goes to Teen Titans, issue 33. This is the variance cover as you get to see Crush busting through some wall and uh, she's got some of her titan friends with her i love the facial expression on her uh, i love the way the characters look on these covers i thought they always stood out every time they have them i thought this was cool this is my number 10 if it's your favorite please vote all right so moving on to number nine and number nine goes to a book from antarctic press this is called horror comics and this is issue two this is a creepy looking cover now i love horror comic books and i love the covers and stuff like that so that's why this one made the countdown but it's some girl who's scared to death she's got a knife and uh there's some freaky dude who looks like he's naked and he's got a whole bunch of headless people or he's got heads hanging up on his wall i, I don't know <laughs> i don't know what's going on in this book but the cover definitely caught my eye. That's why it made the countdown. Love the horrific feel here. All right, next, coming in at number eight. This is Jane Foster Valkyrie. This is issue two. Um, this cover is just really cool. And it just, it, it really sets the tone of what's inside this book because Jane Foster uh, Valkyrie goes against Bullseye in this issue. And the battle is just completely awesome. And you get to see that here on the cover. Um, he's on the Pegasus with the sword. And uh, she's got her weapon or all weapon ready to go. This comic overall, guys, is a great read. If you haven't read it, I definitely go out there. I suggest it. It's awesome. Really cool cover. If this is your favorite, go ahead and vote. All right. So next, coming in at number seven. Number seven goes to Batman issue 77. Yeah, guys, this was a huge issue this week. Uh, probably trying to get a lot of Batman readers back on the title because if you haven't heard it, spoiler, Bane snaps Alfred's neck. So that's the whole reason why this book is popular this week. But the cover itself, I think it's done by David Finch. I think it looks really nice. Thomas Wayne, uh, you have Gotham Girl on there as well. 
Uh, bat signal in the background. Love the colors of the book. Love the stance of where the, the way the characters are as well. This is a gorgeous looking cover. And if it's your favorite, go ahead and vote. All right, so next, coming in at number six, we have Dynamite's James Bond 007. That's right, fans. Uh, this one is cool because it's like you got Bond who's pointing the gun at you and half his face is blown off. It's kind of like Two-Face, right? But if you look in the background, it looks like an atomic bomb is going off. And uh, yeah, and it looks like it's in San Francisco, um, I think. I don't know. Uh, but nevertheless, it's cool cover. And when you see Bond like deteriorating from the atom bomb, it, you could see him flaking off. And I think that looked really, really cool. So yeah, this one made the countdown for sure because of its detail. If it's your favorite cover of the week, go ahead and vote. All right, so coming in at number five, this goes to um, a variant cover. This is Tony Stark Iron Man variant. This is the uh, Bring on the Bad Guys variant. That's what it is. And uh, here we have Kick-Ass Iron Man. He's got his repulsor rays going. And then you got Madam Mask on there, like, teaming up with him or whatnot. And she's got the two guns, and she's in, like... Fight pose. This is a very nice looking cover. I love the reflection off the armor, the shininess that goes into it. Uh, it just it, it just looks like they're in the middle of an action scene, and I and I love the way it looked. So it cracked the top five. If this is your favorite cover of the week, go ahead and vote. All right, fans. So we're moving on to number four. This is another bring on the bad guys variant. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I think this is this week's book. I forgot which number we're on. But this one was really cool as you have Gamora fighting the Black Swan. Um, I thought it was awesome. Love the facial expressions on Gamora and the Black Swan. Looks like they're fighting in space. Um, it's just a cool cover, man. I love that fight scene here. So uh, very fitting to bring on the bad guys. And if this is your favorite cover of the week, go ahead and vote. All right. So now we're in the top three, and number three goes to Ghost Spider, issue one. This is the variant edition. Uh, here we have Gwen as she has her hoodie up, but she doesn't have her mask on, and I think that's really cool that you get to see Gwen Stacy uh, still wearing the costume, but without the mask, and it's kind of it kind of stays true to what's going on in the comic, because in one place, she's Spider-Gwen only, Right, and then in the other place, she's just Gwen Stacy. She, she's trying to separate her two identities in two different Earths. So really cool. Uh, looks great on the cover. You get to see kind of like the web in the background and whatnot. So nice one. This is number three. If it's your favorite, go ahead and vote. All right. So next is number two. This is another uh, cool looking cover here. This is Daredevil. This is issue ten. This is a variant cover. As we get to see Daredevil, Matt Murdock going against Elektra. Right? Um, very nice looking cover. Love the action scene on this one. Looks like Electra's got the upper hand on here. She's got her size. They seem like they're a little bit over exaggerated, but that's comics for you. And uh, Matt Murdock doesn't know how to really defend himself, you know? Um, but looks really cool. She looks pissed off at him. Great character details. Awesome scene. If this is your favorite comic book cover of the week, go ahead and vote. And then last but not least, guys, the number one comic book cover of the week for me this week it goes to, this one's intense, Red Sonja, Birth of the She-Devil, Issue 3. Wow. Let me just tell you, Red Sonja is not taking any prisoners here. There's no mercy. She's just slicing off a troll's head, and the head is flying. Maybe a little bit grotesque. Uh, maybe a little violence for this video, but nevertheless, it looks cool, and uh, and you see, get to see like the head is just flying at you. The sword's all bloody, and Red Sonia's like, yeah, no problem for me. Um, and you get to see his hand. His hand is out there reaching, you know, like oh please, you know. But nevertheless, man, what an awesome cover to look at. Really cool cover, really detailed as well. Um, and love the background, how it's kind of like in this sunset, you know, with the clouds back there. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. There are my top 10 comic book covers of the week. Now it's your turn in the comments below. 
to tell me what is your favorite cover of the week, which one you want to win. And remember the rules, you can only vote one time per person. Okay, have your votes in by 8 a.m. next week. If you like someone else's, you can't just give them a thumbs up. You got to put it in the comment section below. And if you like your own cover this week, fans, feel free to put it in the comment section below as that cover can start to trend and overtake maybe the other 10. You never know if that book can pull out an upset. So guys, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any content from me. And until that next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off, and thanks for watching, guys. Take care and have a great week. Bye.